Alright foot soldiers, listen up. The Shredder wants us to get rid of the turtles. Yeah. So, we planted a trap, and we've lured them here. Get ready, cause here they come. Yeah. Are you sure this is the right place, Donnie? Well, according to the message we received, this is it. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Like, dudes, what if they're not even here? They're here. Hi-yah! Hi-yah! Batter's up! Hey, you guys didn't leave anybody for me! Hey, boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today, we're taking a look at two Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Block sets. We've got Bebop Villain Pack and Rocksteady Villain Pack. Each set comes with a bad guy mutant figure, as well as a couple of foot soldiers. The back of the package gives us a better view of the set inside, as well as images of some of the other characters available. Here's a closer look at Bebop and Rocksteady. They both look like they've really captured their cartoon look. It's a shame they both come with the same gun, although they might have both used the same gun in the cartoon. I can barely remember. I, I remember seeing that gun in the show, but I don't remember who used it. These guys are both really nicely detailed. They have a lot of small parts that could easily be lost. You know, these turtle shells on his shoulders and the wrist gauntlets and things like that, the wristbands, are all little pieces that are snapped on. Uh, so do be careful with that. Bebop and Rocksteady come pre-assembled, but the foot soldiers you're gonna have to assemble yourself. Now we have both sets put together here. So you get these long display bases with the manhole covers on them. Actually very similar to the History of Leonardo pack that we saw recently at Toys R Us that came with all the different versions of Leonardo they've ever released on display bases. The background's got all these sewer pipes with these like comic panels on them. Each set comes with three foot soldiers and then one of the main villains, either Bebop or Rocksteady. Both sets come with weapons for the foot soldiers, but not enough. Come on, Mega Blocks, you can't give us an army builder set and skip on the weapons. We know you have a mold for Leonardo's sword. Why isn't that in here? Bebop set over here comes with a nunchuck, some throwing stars, a bow staff, and a canister of ooze. Rocksteady set comes with a little knife, ninja stars, a sigh, and a little rat. One thing I wanted to point out about these little comic panels are that they're actually based on these little toys. You can see the articulation joints in the artwork. I thought that was kind of a cool touch. Here's a closer look at Rocksteady's set. You can see he's got a little turtle shell and a grenade on his belt there. Lots of nice details. Very cartoon based. This does not look like the Rocksteady figure so much, but really does look like him from the cartoon. Bebop's got his turtle shell shoulder pads there, his little ammo belt and vest. He's even got his red and white sneakers on there. The figures are nicely detailed and articulated. The belt piece here is kind of rubbery and has little spots that you can holster some weapons in them. They have articulation at the shoulders, elbows, and at the wrist. These little arm guards can come off also. The head is articulated. Why did the foot soldiers have such alien shaped skulls? They have hip articulation knee articulation, and that's about it. Oh, and of course a swivel waist. The mutant characters are pretty much the same as the foot soldiers as far as articulation goes. Oh, gee, boss. Love that mohawk. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out our other Ninja Turtle videos. We'll get the toilets. Ah, uh, yeah.